Hi, I'm the Reluctant Bee Granny. My name is Carol and I love falafel. I love falafel with hummus, especially spicy hummus. So I'm going to show you just how I go about making that. I'll start by adding a cup of dry chickpeas to a quart jar and then fill it the rest of the way with cold water. If you use canned chickpeas for this, they'll turn out quite mushy. I like to use these strainer lids to keep the fruit flies out and it'll make straining in the morning easier. The next day I roughly chop an onion and put that into the food processor. Then I bring out my strained and rinsed beans that have soaked overnight and they've swollen quite a bit and dump those in. I'll add some pepper and some salt and some concentrated lemon juice. Then I'll blend it until it's smooth. I'll have to stop and scrape down the sides a few times. I almost forgot I need to add this parsley and cilantro. And I'll blend that in and scrape down the sides again. Mmm, doesn't that look good? I'm going to add it to this big red bowl here before I add the flour. This batter is really wet, so I'm going to add a cup of chickpea flour and mix it in. I'm going to start in the refrigerator in this airtight container so that it can soak up that flour. Although this dough is still quite soft, it's easy to mold into some falafel. I like to use this little scoop so that I can make them all around the same size. Although the dough is still quite soft, I know this will just make fluffy falafel. This recipe makes quite a bit, but this freezes well, and it'll be nice to have something that I can just warm up quick. Now I'll just put a little bit of oil on my hands, oops, so it looks like I've put a lot, <laughs> so that I can roll these up without having them stick to my hands. I like to flatten them so that they cook all the way through. I like to dip my falafel in hummus. I found a great recipe on Creative Lori's channel. It's got a nice kick to it. I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can check out her recipe. And while you're there, check out the rest of her channel. Her cheerful greeting is sure to make your day. In addition to her great cooking ideas, she is a very talented home stager and has several videos showing just how she goes about it. She also has food bank hauls. You wouldn't believe the great produce she gets in her area. She also helps out people who are facing homelessness and feral cats too. And as if that wasn't enough, she also has some great money-saving tips that you won't want to miss. I bake these at 350 degrees for 15 minutes, and now I'm ready to flip them over. I need two hands for this. Oh, they're nice and brown on the other side. This silicone mat works great to keep things from sticking. Not all of the batter fit on the baking sheet, so I'm going to fry a few of them in this pan. It's funny how the same recipe can taste totally different depending on how you cook it. I'll get at least two meals out of this. I injured my right hand a few weeks ago, and I'm right-handed, so, so flipping these over is quite a challenge. Looks like they're nice and brown. And now for the hummus. I cooked up a pound of chickpeas. Then I used some to follow Creative Lori's recipe. I don't need to reinvent the wheel. She tells it better than I can. So I'll just post a link in my description box. And all that's left to do is puree it and have a taste. And it's delicious.